Hallo, hallo, hallo. It is a Minecraft time, my friends. My friends. Oh, I don't have the mouth moving. There we go. Now it should be moving. That's good. That's real nice. All right. So, Minecraft. I want to... I want to... I, I had to think about it. I was thinking about just going into creative mode and building. But you know what? Maybe what we do... Boy, my inventory is completely full. Maybe what we do is we use mystical agriculture. Because we always wanted to get into that. And, uh, and haven't yet. Just turn this down a little bit. If you're watching on YouTube, you won't hear this, but I got a little bit of music playing in the background. Just for, for the stream. I can't, I can't pass to YouTube because I'll get copyright struck. Full show. Full show. Um, what was I saying? What's going on with the frame right here? I think it's still loading in a little bit. Um, so yeah, mystical agriculture. I want to get to the point where if I want any type of dirt, any type of wood, any type of like stone, andesite, diorite, granite, just have it all ready to go. I think, I think that's going to be good. So. The inferior essence. So I think, um, you know what? We might as well do this because uh, there's these growth accelerators too, but I don't, I don't think they're going to really be necessary. Inferium farmland though. Dirt with a hoe and essence. Dirt, dirt. Do we have any hoes in here? Might as well make a, like a diamond one. Shtick. Inferium. We have a whole bunch more in that chest over there. So let's, uh, let's make, I guess, 12 of these. Oh, I need the hoe first. Let's turn off the NEI for now, JEI. All right. Good, good, no reward, okay. So now then wood seeds, dirt seeds, stone seeds. I pretty much want these three, I would say, full show. So. The infusion crafting, we need a infusion altar. This is where we needed the dark matter. That's right. That's where our big bottleneck was. So we need the all the modium surrounded by eternalis fuel. And I think I have a little bit of eternalis. Yeah, just well, two. So we're going to need two of these. All the modium. Now the crushing and everything, I don't know, you know. Let's just smelt two for now. There we go. We got our we got our first all the modium ingots. So let's get out our coal. Let's get out our philosopher's stone. Let me see if I can remember how to do this. Is it four of these? Yes. Okay. So an entire stack of that, 16 of that, and then four of that. So we need um, eight of those. So let's get um, another, what's it going to be? It's going to be like basically all of this. So, uh, what do we need? We need 16, right? I believe that is correct. That's 15. Damn it. Well, let's just make the rest of these into... There we go. So, and then this surrounded by this, we got two dark matter. All that matters. 
Fantastic. So, the altar. Do, do, do. What are we missing here? Just the red carpet. And two red wool. Red. What do we... We can make it out of beets. We can make it out of roses. Beet seeds. Sure. This garden is a mess, by the way. I don't know if you know this, but... This garden is a mess. Somebody should clean it up, but I don't know who it's going to be. Should be good. Full. Two of those. Red carpet. Altar. Boom! Infusion altar. Fantastic. So the other thing we need is pedestals, I think. Yes, infusion pedestals. So we need... Oh, we need more. So we need um, eight of these, I think. So we're going to need eight red wool. Can you dye other dyed wool? I guess we'll find out. No, you cannot. It has to be white... It must be white. Um, oh, hey, is that B back? Ow, I keep forgetting that those cut you up. I don't think I want to cut it down, right? Is it going to stay kind of cut? Hmm. Let's just leave it for now. It looks like the bee is over there, so hopefully it's doing something. Uh, we needed some more beets. So I said eight. There we go. God, it's crazy how fast your inventory just fills up with garbage. It's okay. It's a good problem to have. Ethereum farmland. Hey, there's a bee right in front of me there. What else? Stone and gold? We should have all that. There we go. We got eight. Perfect. Mystical path. Where is... I've seen this bee show up a couple times. Where is its hive? Is it like hidden in one of these trees? Let me know if you see it. There he is. Where's your hive, buddy? Neon cuckoo bee. Do you have a nest around here? Hmm. I'm like looking to see if any of these names turn into different because I think they can be just any block where did he go hmm. we'll find it one of these days you'll see somebody take that block out no Okay, so mystical, you know what? I think I'm going to do mystical agriculture over here. 
Um, it might be nice to kind of switch out the blocks a little bit. Uh, so why don't we do like a cool stone pattern or something? Just for now. There's all this like other, I don't know, we could use this. Why don't we use some of this stuff? Why not? So I believe that um, the altar has to go in the middle. What does this stuff look like? And then I think it's um, something like this. Is it two away or is it one away? So alter. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's there. See, so this overlay works, but the um, the uh, occult one doesn't. Let's have it maybe like join like this. That might kind of look interesting. There we go. Just kind of spice it up a little bit. Perfect. And then the rest be this other kind of stone. I think that looks okay. It's not bad. Um, let's put some like um, torches on the corners. Some torches. Sure. Okay, so we got our infusion altar ready to go. So dirt seeds. That was our first step. Or or wood. We could do wood as well. So what is it? Um, this is just logs, prosperity seed base, which is just prosperity surrounded by seeds. Have a little apple snack on the way to the computer machine. Mmm. So did we make any of these? No. And we got some prosperity. Oh. Prosperity. Uh, what else do we need? So we're going to need logs. We'll probably need dirt. And um, what else are we making? We're making stone, which we have some. Okay. Ow! Every single time I walk through this bloody... Let's take away those two, because I think those are always my path. Bloody heck. Excuse my language, but cheese, cheese Louise. Okay, so let's get three of these to start. Those are going to be our centerpieces. We need some Inferium. Sure, grab. So I believe seed in the middle. Let's try to make the dirt one. I'm not sure if it matters which one. Let's find out. Maybe it's the other way. Oh, do I need to... Do I need to like press a button or something? This is gonna mess up the feng shui of this whole place. Ah, you do gotta press a button. Yeah, let's go dump some of our inventory. 
So now I believe there's a better way to get more seeds of the type you want rather than having to do the ritual each time. I think. Um... That's stuff in the old backpack. So we got our very first dirt seed. Fantastic. Let's um let's make the the log seed. Logs. Excellent. And then I'm guessing you just do stone by doing it this way. Perfect. Okay, so those are the three stones we want to start. Ah, uh, stones, seeds. Those are the three seeds. Perfect. So, mystical agriculture. Okay, there's a book about it. Circle of Souls, Tinkering Table. Use this to make augments for the tiered armors. Okay, that's not what we're looking for. We want to figure out how to get more seeds. We oh, yeah, have the infusion crystal. Is there like um I know in, in certain versions of the mods there's been like these shears or whatever that you could clip them? see here solium dagger there's the watering can or do you no yeah we had to craft those other seeds i mean we could just try growing them and see if they pop out seeds but i don't think they will There's the hoe. Well, let's see here. That could be another seed. Nope, did not. Oh, we got a magical fertilizer out of it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. How, um... Some seeds require you to kill the mobs needed to get the seeds. It does require four jars of the same creature. The dagger helps a lot when killing the passive mobs. Oh yeah, right. I remember this part. So... Uh, might just have to craft them all. Okay, well, you know what? I mean, there's there's going to be um, compounding returns, so. Prudimentary, I see. So you just craft these with the, uh, the better essence. So maybe, let me think about this for a second. How do we want to do this? Okay, well, let's get an infusion crystal. I'm assuming the master infusion crystal. Oh, okay, it needs a supremium gemstone, which is prosperity gemstone with supremium essence, which is just a diamond. So we would need, to get this, we would need two, four, five, six, six supremium. Okay, we're taking we're taking down the farm. It's farm time. 
Get out of my way, I'm farming. Have a little sleep. Okay. So nice clean farm to start. Now we're gonna make even more farms. That's the plan, anyways. Let us empty out all this. I don't know why I'm keeping this many potatoes and weed and whatnot, but I just can't let it go, you know? Birch planks. Birch, please. Is that something that people still say? Sure. Okay, let's toss this in there. Uh, oh, we actually did need those seeds. Let's make an entire stack. Oh, is that not how you make? I thought that was how you made Inferium seeds. Uh, uh, does it need the? Where is it? Oh, okay. I see. Let's make thirty-two. Maybe that's enough to fill this out. Um, I think, is it true, the, um, all the modium stuff, I think, might actually be unbreakable. Let me, I want to, I want to try this. Can you make, if I was to smelt two of these and make a hoe out of it, would it be unbreakable? Son of a bitch. <laughs> You can't make a hole out of it. Okay, never mind. My bad. <laughs> I thought I think the all the modium pickaxe might be unbreakable. Maybe. <laughs> it's kind of kind of satisfying. Thirty two more. Should probably take this one out before we forget it's here. Although I don't know how that would happen, but if I just do it like around here, does that get most of them? Yeah. <laughs> so you can make the watering can and walk around with it, but I think you do have to refill it with water. And honestly, the twerking is just faster. How many more seeds do we need? One, two, three. Is that it? Just three? Okay. Okay. Okay, so we got an entire field of Infernium seeds, which is great. We'll get a ton of Infernium. Um, 
I should probably get a couple more diamond hose in there or emerald hose or what is the most durable hoe we can make? I guess there's the um infernium ones. It must be better than diamond ones because they use a diamond hoe to make. Infernium ingots. So how could we we want to kind of automate this next process because I don't really want to have to do this manually. I mean, at first it's okay, but then down the line, I think it's it's going to be necessary. Or just, you know, for quality of life. So, let's have a think about this. So, we want to pass the Infernium into a Auto Crafter. I guess first, maybe we should get the Master Infusion Stone. That might be a good shout. Boy, we're getting lots of Infernium now, which is great. So let's, um, Infusion Stone. So Diamond, Prosperity, and Infernium. Perfect. And we needed, we said we needed um, six Supremium, right? So I think we can, so this is what we're going to automate eventually is doing this. So that goes to Prudimentrium. Oh, does this not, oh, 186 uses left. Okay. So it does have durability loss. 122. Let's get an entire stack of this before we... It just doesn't show up as a damage bar on the uh, the overlay. Walking around, twerking on my crops. <laughs> the life of a farmer. What's that? Two, four. Two, four. This is going to be six. Oh, sorry. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a car alarm going off outside. Hopefully it goes off soon. There you go. Alright, that should be enough. Now. Okay, that broke the um that broke the infusion stone. Up for crying in the sink. How many are left there? There we go. So I can't remember how many tiers there are. So this is inferium into prudimentrium into tertium ter ter tertium tertium into Imperium, and then I think this one's into Supremium. So there's four. So we're close. What is going on with that person's horn there? So we just need two more. So that's like, uh, I don't know. I guess another, I guess another four stacks would be one, right? So another eight stacks should do it. Oh, did the hoe break? The hoe broke. The hoe is broken. Burp. <laughs> Let's make like eight of these. How many does it hold? I guess it holds nine. Okay. What did I say? I said I needed uh, eight stacks. Two, four, two, four, six. That's almost seven. So the nice thing about the master infusion stone is it doesn't break. So that's that's why we're after it because we don't want to have a a broken one anymore. I 
get the feeling ours is going to break again. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so this is eight. Which means that should be two. There we go. We got enough Supremium. Okay, so the other thing we needed was a Prosperity Gem. And then with that, we do this. Then we should be able to make a Master Infusions Crystal. Unlimited uses. Perfect. Upgrades. Okay, so now with the Master Infusion Stone, we should be able to automate this. So, um, a crafter, some sort of crafter that doesn't require power would be nice. But we can always run power over here too. Let's see what we got here. We got the Mechanical Crafter from Create. That's, that's that big multi-block. Could do that. Crafter tier one RF tools. This will require power, almost certainly, but that's okay. It looks pretty cheap to make. Let's make one. So we're gonna need two crafting tables. We're gonna need a machine frame. We need two blue dye. Two redstone torches. And we got our crafter. RF tools is the one that needs the wrench, right? Isn't aren't they the finicky ones that they don't like you breaking it with a pickaxe? Is that a stone sword in my inventory? <laughs> okay. God, look at all this crap. Why is there four gold in my inventory? You know, I'm not even I'm not looking. I don't want to see it right now. <laughs> Screw it. Let's have a little nap instead. You know, when the problems of the day get overwhelming, just go to sleep. Just go to sleep, brother. There's always tomorrow. Face them tomorrow. So, uh, oh yeah, yeah, it looks like it needs power. Understandable. So we are going to... What do we need? We need... um. Logistical, you know, we could, we should probably use a logistical sorter since we have a whole bunch of these. What else are we going to need? We need power cables, universal. Oh, I think I've got the rest in my backpack, right? Yeah. How do we want to run the power? Do we want to just run it over top? Sure. That side's an output, right? Sides. Output, right, back. Eject on. I think that's good. I just got these widow legs. Okay. Now, here, let's, um, which wrench, which wrench is it? Uh, is it this one? No, I don't think it's that one. Maybe, does this one work? Oh yeah, that does work, okay. So let's have the, um, I guess we'll just have it come out the side. So we want this to be Inferium. We're going to do auto eject on the crafter here. Good. So the recipe is going to be boom, boom, boom. Apply, press to apply the recipe. Do you need like a, um, some sort of like storage thing or something? Like a blueprint? Whoops. Okay, we got it plugged into power. Got power. 
Remember the current items in the ex internal and external buffers. I think I need to put something here. What what mod pack is this? This is RF tools. It looks like it might be. Oh no, that's a filter module. Technology guide. Tech screen module. Tier storage. Crafting card. This item can be used for crafting. It stores ingredients and end result for a recipe. Is this what we need? Maybe this is what we need? Let's try this out. Redstone paper and a crafting table. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. What? Doesn't need to be in a vanilla. Some things sometimes in mods they need to be in um that doesn't look right. So that that's a filter upgrade. This why is what why is this happening? What what <laughs> Okay. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Um All items in input slots are consumed. Result of crafting operation will go to output buffer. Redstone mode ignored. Slow speed, fast speed. GUI, GUI settings. The crafter can be used to automatically craft blocks and items. The top tier version supports up to eight different recipes. There are 26 input slots. Oh, do I just need to pick um, an imp? Do I just... Oh, okay. Do I just need to do this? There we go. Okay. So it did one. Is there any way to keep Salto Crap your machine will go output stay in input buffer? So if I put say so if I forget this and we put Okay, hold on. Turn this off. Okay. So that that works. They stay in the input buffer. Maybe we don't have to remember the um the thing. Okay. And then let's say if I do a second recipe, Deuterium, internal, there we go. So now in theory, if I start bopping a whole bunch of the shizwas into it, look at that, we're auto crafting Deuterium. So to get more recipes, I guess I need a higher tier crafter, right? Crafter tier one. So the crafter tier two, uh, crafter tier two, it's just the tier one with the same stuff again. Okay. So we're going to need, how many recipes? Do we only need four? Because it goes prudentium, titerium, then the blue, and then the red. So I think we only actually need a tier two. We don't need the tier three, I believe. 
So let's get two more of these. Uh, and two more of these. Boom. Tier two. Just like that. Let's ditch a bunch of this crap. Did it keep? Oh, yes, it kept the recipes. Thank ya. Okay, so we want this to stay internal. Apply. Okay. Internal. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Supremium. Look at that. Wonderful. There we go. We've now automated Supremium Essence. Fantastic. So, I think the next thing to do then... I mean, what we could do is... Um, well, we probably want to get the highest tier... Um, farmland right so that this stuff just grows like crazy so we've got the inferior prudimentary tertium imperium supremium insanium <laughs> magical soil insanium eh oh there's a wait there's another tier oh it, it keeps on going okay in the past it stopped at uh supremium all right let's get uh let's get insanium up in this business let me guess, tier three is just the same thing, but two more. We're out of wood. What is that? Old industrial wood. I wonder, can you use Ars Nouveau wood? Do, do, do. Insanium in the membranium. Boom. Tier three. Oh, yeah, you can, like, infuse these with those dimensional shards, I think, too, to make them more efficient, I believe. I keep these kind of... Oh, I guess that would have been the, the other one. So we need four Supremium to be able to make the next Tyrium. <laughs> it's so silly saying that. I guess um, we'll make the other farmlands just to get the quest done. But we want to use the best stuff, I think. We want to use the the Insanium. So the magical... What is that now? Oh my god. Infusion crafting with Insanium blocks and Gaia, Gaia Spirit. God's overgrowth seed. So I think the Gaia Spirit is the end boss of Botania. So this won't be happening for quite some time. But it's a goal. I don't know if I've ever actually fought the Gaia Spirit myself. I don't think I have, you know? So that might that might be a fun thing to do. I've done, I think, the first few tiers of bosses in Botania. I think. It's been a while. Could be a fun thing to do, though. Alright. Insanium. Keep it internal. apply so i think the other thing with these recipes too is um you can um backdate them like um i think if i take a, a tetrium out it'll turn into back into the four prudimentrium so why don't we let's make these farmland blocks so all of them i believe are just um it's the essence with the with the hoe and with the dirt so let's maybe, um, could get maybe two Insanium. Well, what we really want is we want all these blocks to be Insanium farmland. So I assume that would be, like, I probably wouldn't even have to do this. We could just walk away and it would grow. I mean, as it stands, it'll just grow. But, you know, we're looking for some pretty decent returns here.
we should find um I guess making like a supremium or an insanium hull would be a good way to do this too. Just so we don't have to worry about it breaking anytime soon. So let's we'll do the farmland first, then maybe we'll do the hoe next. Okay, so scrap like so we already got the Inferium ones. I guess we might as well take the Insanium. So we need dirt. And we need hose. Shtick. Uh, so first off comes first is it we'll do that one do this one do this one and what is it what are we missing here we're missing tetrium we have so it must be the next here prudimentrium that's right that's what we're missing Boom. There we go. All those quests are done. Perfect. So now when we do the quest for the other things too, it'll unlock dragon egg seeds. Wither skeleton seeds. Good stuff. Okay, so. But the only one we're interested in is the insanium. So let, let's um, let's actually have a look. If I plant this here, insanium, wow, look at how quick it is. Oh, second, okay, inferior output is 350%, secondary chance is 10%. So it actually, so instead of it just being one it's actually three in a bit and also could get a second one okay that's that's pretty freaking good honestly so we want this one just constantly growing pretty much and we're just gonna get an entire field filled with it field filled And I guess too, with um, with it being three hundred fifty percent chance, that's only a single harvest, but you get insane amounts. Wonderful. Okay. So we got another one, so we can make another one. Insanium in the membranium. Oh. Okay, so this will we this can just tick away as it goes. We'll eventually have hopefully like with the returns of this, we're just gonna eventually have an insane amount of insanium, which will just mean that pretty much any time we need any sort of uh, essence <laughs> of any tier, we can just come here and get it easily. So that's wonderful. I wonder if it, um, it's so fast that we could just do this. I want it to, like, ring a bell when there's an Insanium ready. Ding! Your Insanium is prepared, sir. Just a boot. Just a boot! So what else can we do? So we can get the better hose for the, for the Harvester. There we go. That's what I'm talking about.
I wonder if you can trounce this ground. I'm assuming not. Okay, so three of them. Now, the other... There's these growth accelerators as well. Seed reprocessors. Stacking these beneath farmland will increase the speed of crops. Higher tiers have a larger range, but the same effect. A larger range, but the same effect. Grows the plant above it faster. Range is 60 blocks. 60 blocks. So is that... So how many would we need? We only need like four of them? 60 blocks. That's, that's quite a lot, isn't it? I wonder if they... Um, I wonder if they stack. You know, like if there was an entire field of them, would they just grow insanely fast? So the growth accelerators, it's one gemstone. And then is this just any type of stone by the looks of it? An inferium. And I'm assuming all the way up. Yeah, so it's just supremium gemstone, supremium. And these ones only go up to supremium. They don't go to insanium. In the membranium. Let's, let's try making one of these. I guess we should make each tier. Bouncer, bouncer, bouncer. So I guess they're they're quite expensive actually. Like I wonder, so 60 blocks, like say we had one maybe here, 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 and here. Would that be like, would that do a lot? I wonder even 60 blocks, so that's what, two, four. So this is 64 blocks is like this square here. So if it's 60 blocks, I guess actually maybe on the diagonals would be the way, like under here under here maybe something like that I am stressed growth accelerators so what do we, can we use cobblestone, I wonder? These are just diamonds surrounded by prosperity. Let's see if cobblestone works. Infernium gem. And we need four more infernium. And it might actually need to be... Maybe just stone would work. Oh yeah, stone works. Okay. So how many of these are there? There's one, two, three, four. Make six of these. Tetherium. Wonder, oh, all these quests don't have uh, rewards with them. Huh. It's unfortunate. I was hoping I could like go into the, get the rewards of a little bit of the dust back or the essence. But tis not the case. Hmm. 
So we have done up to Tetirium. So we got two more to go. Well, the, then the fourth one we want to keep. I guess at some point, too, we're going to need to look at getting more prosperity. Okay. I should probably need a little more than that. Well, that Emerald Muncher, he sure is dedicated to his shop, isn't he? He's there morning, noon, and night. You gotta respect that. Small business owner in this in this economy. He's making it happen. When a man loves his shop, he gonna be there morning, noon, and night. His name is Emerald Muncher, small business owner. So, I just want to see I just want to see these growth things how's the hose doing we are burning through the hose that's for sure not that that's really a problem we can even grow diamonds so if we wanted to but I don't think diamonds are really a problem at this point shoo That'll be the two Supremium ones. Or the... Um, maybe that's even honestly enough to do the other one too. Let's try. Uh, sure, we could do it here. So we need to do the blue one. Which will just turn... Boom. Then we need the Supremium. Boom. All right. Now, let's pop one of these bad boys down. So, I think, yeah, let's let's try it on this block right here. So, it said it goes underneath, grows the plants above it faster. So, I think it's got to be down one more block. Right there. need a they aren't growing faster right now let me read about this stacking these beneath farmland will increase the speed of crops higher tiers have a larger range but same effect stacking does that mean I can put more on top of each other? Grows the plant above it faster. Range 60 blocks. Does that mean I can stack 60 of them underneath this? Is that... Am I reading that right? Or is it a 60 block range around? Hmm. It doesn't particularly seem to be making too much of a difference at this point maybe it's quicker than the other ones <laughs> this one's 71 28 57 let's just wait for a tick and that one grew is it doing anything Bel above it. I was going to say, does it have to be above it? 60 blocks. I don't know. 
Doesn't really seem to be doing anything right now. What about, um... Let's see here. Whoops. Whee! You just try something here. <laughs> Let's try it like this. Wait. Hold on a sec. What if we did, uh, what if we did, like, all the way up? Hold on, let's get an Insanium. I want to try this full on. Do I have the Essence? Yeah, I do. Insanium! And the Membranium! I just want to see what happens. Oh my god, that's a big old hole right there. Oh my gosh. Oh no, we're going to use that Infernium Seed. For science. Just one more. One more Supremium makes an Insanium. They kind of look cool. They like... Pulse. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, jeez. It'd be a cool block to build out of, although insanely expensive. Although eventually, that might not be a problem. Okay, so we're going to make an Insanium farmland. So the, the tiers go... It goes blue... Red or orange. Like that. Blue. What's the range on the blue ones? 12 blocks. So if I was to put this up here... Okay, look, it is, I think it is going quicker. Well, I say that. 28% straight away. And then it stopped. So the initial growth was really quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, so what, this is how you do it? You stack, like, just crazy amounts on top of each other? <laughs> That's going to be ridiculous. I guess it's working, or is it only getting the effect of the green one? That kind of looks cool. <laughs> there, there's our farm, all stacked up on top of each other. I guess we're going to find out if you can trounce this farmland. Nope. So it hasn't even fully grown yet, and we invested all those growth accelerators into it. I almost feel like you'd be better off, like, launching magical bone meal at it or something. I guess you could do supremium ones under each, and it would help a little bit. So this is, I mean, it is quicker than the other ones. But, I mean, look at the insanity you got to go through. I don't know, maybe like uh, six of these? Oh, man. I don't know. Well, anyways, we kind of figured out how it works. Which is good, I guess. That's hilarious. All right. Well, you know what? This is probably a good place to leave it. So, man... Good, good, good start on the old mystical agriculture or, or continuation on the uh, mystical agriculture. So the, the plan is eventually the, uh, all these, this entire field will be insanium, which is going to be insane. I don't know what we're going to do about the growth accelerators just yet, but I know that much. We're going to try to get um, Insanium in this entire field. So this will be just ticking away. Maybe as we run past it, we'll do a little twerk, you know, 
It's it's growing as it is, just on its own. We could maybe look at um. There's probably some other growth accelerators. Crystal growth accelerator for applied in logistics. Uh, maybe there isn't crystal growth core. Maybe there isn't. But anyways, I think there's actually an Ars Nouveau spell that allows growth. But I mean, the twerking is is pretty powerful. Honestly, the twerking it's tough to beat. The twerking just means that I got to bob over top of the crops constantly. Not not constantly, but you know, every time that we're over here. Um, man, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're on YouTube, hit subscribe, uh, like it, comment, watch the other videos in the playlist. Come check it out live. Join the the Twitters, the Discord, all that fun stuff. Um, you guys have a good day. Peace.